compass bearings, some cardinal directions points, and we're going to look at degrees as well. Here we go, we've got north, the opposite is south. We've got east, and its opposite is west. You may have heard of Never Eat Soggy Wheat Bix before to help you remember north, east, south, and west. But you could have Nancy Eat Silly Worms or Norman Eat Spew. Wow. Totally up to you, as long as you remember. N-E-S-W. In between north and east, there's northeast. Then between south and east, there's southeast. Then we have south and west, which is southwest. And in between north and west, we have northwest. Here you can see we've got north, northeast. In between northeast and east, we've got east, northeast. And in between east and southeast, we've got east, southeast. Between southeast and south, we've got south, southeast. Then we've got south, southwest, west, southwest, west, northwest, and north, northwest. So in terms of degrees, we can refer to north as zero degrees or 360 degrees. Then we have east, sort of a right angle to get to east. We have 90 degrees. So therefore south is referred to as 180 degrees. Add another 90 on and we get to west, which is 270 degrees. So in between north and east, northeast, it's 45 degrees. We add another 45 degrees onto the east, where it's southeast, that becomes 135 degrees. 180 plus 45 gets to 225 degrees for southwest. And then northwest, you'll see is 315 degrees. And then as you can see here, the other degrees are being put in as well. So in between zero and 45, halfway between is 22.5. In between 45 and 90, halfway between is 67.5, so on and so forth. So between east and southeast, 112.5 for east southeast. You can see for southeast and south, well, it's 157.5 degrees uh, for south southeast, so on and so forth.